Hello everyone. In this video today, um, we'll do a reading about how will they feel about you when you meet them next time. So let's say you haven't seen each other for a while and you're meeting each other and you're wondering what will the person think of you when you next meet them, what will they feel and what will it follow, what will follow all of that, uh, how will the relationship go in the future after that and let's ask advice for you. Um, <clears throat> so I have four decks um, right now, not at home, kind of in the old home, but so I just took these small decks with me. So this is the playing card deck, 36 playing card deck, this is a tarot deck, <clears throat> Lenormand, 36 cards, and this is the Russian Patience. And I'm gonna not do the full Patience, just pull cards, and it's a technique, apparently, which I will share in the next video. So, um, think of a person, choose a deck, choose a system, playing cards, tarot, Lenormand, or Patience, and we'll do a reading. And take your time, please. Have you chosen? So, let's, let's ask our playing cards. What will they think of you? when you next time meet what will they feel <clears throat> there um, what will happen in the relationship after this meeting And advice for you. <clears throat> so, what will they think? We have a young person, maybe a message, most likely a young male. And we have this Ace of Diamonds, which usually means a letter. So, I would say they will think. That they received a letter from you at last there was some sort of communication you communicated you are there and um, that sort of situation most likely these guys can just describe um you know the person like they just can describe you the way they perceive you they might think you're very intelligent like you know intelligent very practical you know and uh, a bit not so emotional these cards are not very romantic it's more likely more like practical maybe you will talk about the mundane things so there's some sort of intelligence professionality a little bit a little bit like uh, maybe work for some people for some people you know for example two people that like each other meet uh, not on date, but with some other reason, let's say for work. So these cars would come. So they just might think you're a person who um, looks very intelligent, sophisticated, and, uh, you know, educated, and who just communi started communicati communicating with them. What will they feel? Of course, there is some nostalgia, familiarity, and happiness that they met you and definitely we have some sort of like interest and um, you know you can even say romantic interest yeah there is very happy feelings like maybe you haven't seen for a long time so there is um, the sort of familiarity that you've been like you like a homie <laughs> you know you're you're the people who um, met before and there's a sense of happiness going on success also 
you know, so maybe it's also to do with other things like prosperity, something to do with maybe home, uh, maybe uh, money a little bit for some people, you know, and parent, like parents also, like parental home, like, so there might be mixed like happiness, but also other things. Now, how, what will happen to a relationship after this? Okay, so we have, let's say, challenges. Um, we have this person, maybe an older person there, or some seriousness going, professionalism. And in the future, we do have some sort of, like, again, um, more like, financial relationship, financial conversations and things like that. So it's a bit more formal, we don't have any hearts here. So it's like maybe some even older man is in between you, uh, like a grandfather, father, that sort of thing. Uh, so something like there was a bit of professionality going on, job, business, work. So that might affect... Um, so we don't see any development in just super romantic something. We just have professional. What is advice for you when you meet that person? Again, clubs is... It can mean, again... It can mean this work relationship, but also the fact that I'm trying to hard, you know, that sort of thing. Um, try to be positive, you know, don't be sorry for yourself and do not um, try not to be bitter or sad, you know, if possible. Also, this can represent an older female. So if, there, if it matters in some relationships, um, try to be nice to her or talk nice things about her or, you know, just things like that. I would say do not try to be all sad, you know, let's say maybe that's your natural. Um, like for me, it often comes, you know, queen of spades. Uh, it's like a person uh, who tends to get depressed, that feeling lonely, sorry for oneself, you know, I think difficult thoughts. So it's better to focus on that everything is kind of fine and you're happy and lightness should be there. So it will help the relationship somehow to even just remove that cloud. Yeah, so that sort of situation. Um, these cards usually uh, tell simple things. They do not maybe go into philosophies. For me, tarot also just says the simple things. Um, so yeah, that's what we got here. I hope that makes sense somehow. Um, now let's move on to our tarot deck. And let's see. Let's see what it says actually. Okay, we're using our witch's tarot, or tarot of the witches, I can't recall. Mini deck. We're reading about <clears throat> what will they think of you when you next meet them. What will they think of you? What will they feel? What um, will happen to the relationship after you meet? Will it get better? Will it get worse? And advice for you. Okay. So, what will you think of you? When you meet, page of wands, the high priestess, man of swords. Well, these are very young cards i think the page of wands is a very youthful card knight is also a very youthful card the high priestess it's like a mystery so it seems like 
maybe they'll think you're a young person with a sense of humor with uh, who likes to be a little bit noisy or just um, causes a little bit of you know noise whatever they go and you know with a high priestess maybe you'll come out into the light out of the hiding that sort of perception might be there so when you appear uh, you might appear loudly that sort of thing uh, I'm getting a bit of turmoil a bit of you know movement will be there a little bit maybe of stress for that person now I don't know why it's high priestess here maybe it's an online relationship and it's the first time you're meeting maybe it's the first time um, <clears throat> you'll kind of appear to them or maybe it's just your personality um, like you know it's just the way you are you know it's, it's very young energy very active maybe more like fire air sign you know uh, maybe you might have interest in the occult but also you're very humorous and youthful and active and you know talkative and things like that so definitely it shows that they will notice you and uh, they might think something like oh she's very active or she's very energetic or okay she's very confident in some cases it can mean abusive a person who swears a person who uses language a certain one and a person who might cause annoyance and irritation to another person. So it depends on them and on you and the situation. What will they feel when they see you? We have the hangman. We have the devil and we have the four of cups. So we have that sort of like, I'm stuck, cannot get away. Uh, I'm being found out and I'm being trapped, that sort of feeling, uh, almost like uh, a little bit of disappointment and fear, I would say. Uh, the fear, I think, is because they might feel that they're being persecuted or the situation is too intense and they don't want to experience that. With the devil, I would say it can be unwanted passion or you know like this meeting or relationship brings out the old wounds or or it doesn't move anywhere that sort of feeling like they've been stuck with this relationship for a while like nothing was happening and they kind of lost their hope and they think nothing can happen and it's not really working no matter what happens so some sort of disappointment over being powerless in this and like some sort of difficult feelings being uh, put on them through this meeting. So um, yeah, it can be slightly a variation of what kind of dif different things are there. Now let's have a look at how how it affect the relationship, its future. We have the uh, Eight of Swords, the Magician, and the Star. Well, it's kind of, we have the cards of, like, okay, this is like trapped, uh, shyness, cannot speak up, being afraid. Um, but magician is kind of confidence, like as if you're going to gain some confidence and <clears throat> hope after this meeting. So if there was a period of non-talking and a period of <clears throat> being very shy, uh, not being able to speak up or being trapped in the annoying situation this can cause uh, hope you know somewhat uh, maybe it will be it will seem good for you for example you per perceive it as a success um, okay so but I'm also having other thoughts about
Will there be contact after that? So it looked uh, Cards are good I think something might come out uh, positive of this or like a proposal like a very even marriage proposal some sort of um, something diff like some like a, it's a fate or something like fateful meeting something will happen like that of course there can be these other meanings um, something more specific maybe the person will give you a gift um, maybe you'll go to the cinema you know maybe uh, there's gonna be some like intro introductions with other people something will follow it basically this meeting will follow something more like something might go on still in the relationship okay and what is advice for you regarding this person we have the emperor strength and the world the strong cards well the person seems to like i have a power worldly power you know and the emperor is like the male power and um like maybe it's showing up the strength because they are very uh, strong personality, maybe scary personality, somewhat with their confidence and their um, machism, ma maleness. Let's see. So, well, I think for you also you have to be very confident when you meet them, very strong and confident like that emperor like you own the world like it's enough like you're enough as a person and uh, with strength i would say there might be some you know like self-control or patience involved or courage that you'll have to use in this meeting you know and it also can be super um uh, require lots of strength you know now the world often it means um happiness or self-sufficiency like feeling and knowing that you're 100 percent enough and there's nothing wrong with you and you're absolutely uh, powerful you know in yourself um in some cases can be um, a meaning to be very um look ambitious look very ambitious and um like show that you care about the people and the world and maybe talk about travel a lot or business or success or something like that so it really depends on what kind of relationship and what's happening so yeah this was our tarot reading let's have a look at our Lenormand cards now Okay, and now we're using a Lenormand mini cards and we're asking about what will happen um, once you meet each other next time. What will they think of you? What will they think of you when you meet? What will they feel? Um, what will happen to your relationship after meeting each other? Advice for you. So, there. What will they think of you? We have stars, child, and death, basically. Coffin. It's it's like I wanted to make a coffin, but I didn't. It's kind of like a coffin, actually. Okay. So, so what will they think of you? So, I think they might feel that, you know, one 
One meaning can be that the thought you disappear forever and now you're reappearing. So some sort of like a comeback of something lost, someone lost. Um, it can mean the fact that, let's see, they might perceive you as a bit um, anxious, like mentally a bit maybe down, depressed in some cases. You know, they might perceive you like there was some connection, conver uh, conversation, maybe online, maybe a little conversation, not a big relationship, and uh, they didn't expect to see or something, you know, so that sort of feeling. And with the death card, it's like uh, they might perceive you as low on energy. Um, low on, you know, something small, like, um, love energy, maybe a younger person, cute and pretty person, but who's very, um, maybe shy or not speaking a lot, or there's some sort of, like, a passivity going on, you know, a person who hasn't talked to them in a while, a person who hasn't replied to them, you know, so that's sort of, um, we're getting, there can be other meanings, something to do with gadgets, mobile phones, something black, so if you're relating each other through technology, you know, it can be that they remember you through a gadget, you know, like a little black something, technology thing, so... It depends on how much you know each other and what really happened and what's happening. What will their feelings be? So we have the tree, sun, and the tower. So we have a pretty good card, some sort of like stability, um, longevity, and um, life. Like it's a long, some sort of relationship. It looks like very... Uh, short but here we have long and stable and for life and things like that so perhaps it's just um, they'll just perceive as low on energy let's say shy or something but there's a long relationship and there, there are feelings of familiarity and maybe even soul connection now looking at these let's see what will happen to a relationship after all this Okay, so I think maybe there was some sort of like um, monotony in a relationship, so that will that will um, fix that in a way that your meeting will um, <clears throat> it will uh, it will break that monotony, it will break that uh, sameness, and you will meet so you know it can cause a little bit of a shift and an anxiety when it comes to the family life and stability in life in general um but overall i think it'll stay strong you know it'll stay strong um will it follow something romantic let's see if it's so no, it will not. There's a opportunity, kinda, but either you will refuse that opportunity, or or it will be too painful, or too many obstacles, or something like that. Now, what is advice for you when meeting that person? We have park, we have beer, and we have this whip. <laughs> so we have um. <clears throat> At a very public place when you meet, uh, surrounded by many people, uh, pretty stressful because some sort of situation, authority figures, parents, I don't know, someone is present there. Um, like a little bit of someone's like shouting at you or shouting at them, you know, that sort of feeling in front of everyone. And maybe overall a very kind of environment like that I 
So basically, I think as an advice is um, to be with a group, to to go with the flow, to <clears throat> to be careful of making someone mad, uh, to to be aware of a possible uh, conflict or stress in a way. We have Lilith cloud so we might have many male people like many male males men in the situation some are old really older and not very calm a bit angry so for some people it can be like a warning to be careful of like avoid the conflict there are all, all lots of old people or something like that um, like um, traditional setting a bit and people can get upset or something basically environment is not good to um, develop this so it's like you also either have to be ready for that you know possible conflict between someone else it can be many parties involved, like we at least have three men, men here and crowd and public and all that. Um, so something like that, that like don't pursue it or it's not the right opportunity or it's not the right time and you, you don't want it for some reason, it's too difficult. So that sort of situation we have. Okay, now let's move on to our last deck. Last deck of patience. Biggest issue in this relationship is a well moving relationship. So it, it can be like it's kind of going well, but there's kind of big, uh, like maybe the person likes you, but there are big obstacles. And that therefore it cannot happen or something or that sort of situation. Okay, so next is patience. <clears throat> okay, so patience and I'm just not gonna open the whole patience. I'm gonna open two cards per question. So there, what will they think of you when you next meet? What will they feel about you? when you next meet or uh, their how will the relationship change after you next meet well, what will happen to your relationship and advice for you when you next meet them okay so first uh, what will they think of you <coughs> So because we're not doing the whole patience, there's a technique where you just um, read this card, this last four symbols, and uh, um, you use this in front, just in case this will match with these symbols, will make any full picture with one of these symbols. So, but it's not making in this case. So we're gonna read only the ring, the bell, the treasure box and the cat. So first of all, cat usually is falseness. And um, is this is a ring or a crown. Okay, um, I'll have to check. Okay, so we don't have a picture forming. So we're gonna just read each and every um, symbol here. So, okay, we have the ring. And in the order that they appear, we have the ring, which is uh, can be proposal, relationship, <laughs> talking about, you know, this uh, relationship. So let's say, okay, it makes sense if you meet a uh, person, I think that, you know, you contacted them or they came into contact with you. There's some sort of thing going on between you. So connection is there. Now the bell is like surprise. It happened suddenly. You know, so there's a shock, a little bit of a, like a shock element. Um, so surprise now that we have a lock as well, which can talk about uh, some sort of like stuckness 
uh, in life. So let's say uh, it, it can mean that you, you know, usually don't talk or there has been a pause or a break or, or something like that between you. So that sort of uh, situation, like maybe a long time no see or you didn't talk or you just didn't meet or you want to meet but you couldn't meet. So that's sort of like a being stuck in, in that same pattern. Uh, with cat, uh, usually in some decks it means falseness, you know, and like don't trust us. There's going to be, you know, something that the person is going to lie to you. But in this case, um, there's going to be a flirt. In this deck it means flirt. So, um, but now that what are they thinking about you? Yeah, this card's are saying so. Um, the question is, so the answer is they might think that you've called them after a while, that they didn't um, talk to you in a while, and you're kind of flirting with them, and you're interested in them, you know, you're flirting so that you could have this relationship happen, or you want to have the relationship, or it's kind of like proposal, like in India they call it proposal, to propose sometimes, to, to ask someone out. <clears throat> so yeah it's that sort of situation now let's have a look what will they really feel will they be happy okay we have a snake already so here the cards also don't match oh the ring matches here but we don't count that um, we have a scale, usually it means a doubt. We have a rose, maybe love, and snake, suspicion, and ink, you know, um, so yeah, the feeling is, uh, so we have interesting, uh, this is not an ink, by the way, this is uh, alcohol, this is a glass with bottle, and it means um, fest, like a party. Or something um, and the snake usually is kind of bad but it means illness in this one so let's say there is an element of love that they loved you or love you or there is some sort of like a thorn that they're feeling so there are there are emotions there are feelings, but there are doubts as well. And I don't know, maybe alcohol is influencing the situation or they're not feeling well because snake is illness. And uh, maybe lack of trust because we have doubt. And, you know, and, you know, maybe they just want to party or not take it so seriously, you know. Or when you meet, maybe it's in a party or people are drunk or something like that. So they just, you know, want to enjoy that and not to take it as seriously, you know, that sort of thing. So I would say there are contradicting feelings, a bit of everything. Now, how will your relationship change? What will happen after this meeting? Okay, so do we have any matches with this and this card? In this case, we don't. In this case, we don't. So we're gonna read only these cards and we already have a rose, which is kind of love. So basically, the cards are pretty, pretty good. We have love with uh, rose, yeah. The um, change of luck with the uh, wheel, the success with sun, and also success with um, the the maze. Uh, so we have a pretty like easygoing, smooth going kind of relationship in the future. Like things will go even better. So in this case, I think uh, there is hope that something will work out. Um, you know because a person might be intrigued, a person understands that maybe you're flirting with them, maybe you're a flirt or they, they see some signs or whatever. So 
it shows either with them probably with them the relationship will be very easy and good in the future or something will change basically after you meet them something will change into the good side that's all we can say and because love is here so hopefully um, if you like this person uh, something will improve in, in that area in this relationship now let's have a look at <clears throat> what's the advice for you talking about this person okay so we don't have any match right we don't have any okay we have a flag we have one match so because this card matched so we give it priority and it's gonna be more important than others okay so we have an interesting advice we have not so like good cards but not so good cards here uh, and moon is also in this deck means a uh, forgotten a message or a missed message let's say they call you there is a missed call or there are emails that you haven't read from this person or they haven't read anyway the flag means that your life will change after this dramatically after this meeting so you should keep it in mind uh, also we have this forgotten or miss call or miss message or something like that that will happen and a possible fight like you know with this broken pot we have a possible fight between you two um, and also with the um, uh, anchor we have a uh, you know just feeling very stable in life and believing in life so I think maybe it says that maybe it's war a warning saying that there's going to be lots of change and maybe even a fight over communication or something that you forgot um, or they forgot. So some sort of like fights might happen, you know, and quite a bit of change. Maybe it's a different personality, different, some sort of complete experience for you and but overall um you know uh, maybe it advises to be able to solve the conflict properly uh maybe it can see that the person might have a tantrum or something like react a lot to the missed call or whatever and um perhaps it's um you know, saying something about your beliefs, maybe not very flexible beliefs for the anchor, like believe in life, trust in life. Um, you can see that everything will be fine in the end, but also it might talk about inflexible beliefs somehow for me, uh, that let's say you have one convictions, they have other convictions, and over those there might be some sort of Maybe you think miss call is not a big deal, miss message. Maybe for them it's a big deal. So, um, so maybe something to do with that. Maybe they'll ask you why didn't you reply or like something like that. So overall, we have a very um, easily sailing relationship, but also it brings some sort of conflicts and challenges with it. So maybe the advice is just get ready for that. And um, if there are no fights, no arguments, there probably isn't a relationship. So this was our reading number four. I do hope that this was helpful somehow. I hope that this um, wasn't confusing using different style decks in this reading. It's just that all the decks that I had at this moment... Um, I hope to see you again soon and have a wonderful night and a wonderful day and a wonderful week and a wonderful month. Bye-bye.